Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the third session of our Elite Software Tutorial Series. To be frank, Elite System Data is where most novice designers do flops a lot. Despite the efforts placed by the Elite developers in making it to be lucid, so to make it simple too, I will have to combine some of the cells so that it won't be that difficult. So to start with, we'll be taking through the these first three cells, which have GPM all through GPM all through, and the simplest explanation I can give is that all these three cells are just for reference purpose they don't serve any function in our project and if you click here to developer instruction he said this is for reference on report only and what this implies is that they don't affect our hydraulic calculation but let's explain them so the first one here is the in rack sprinkler allow gpm and the best advice I could give is to just leave it as zero. It actually denotes the sprinkler flow requirements at the storage area. So the best advice is just to leave it at zero. And for the second cell, which is the inside O stream allow GPM actually represent the fire hose cabinet so if your project is using a fire hose cabinet and on the norm it varies between 50 to 100 gpm so if you are using fire hose cabinet in your project you will have to input a value between 50 to 100 but if you are not using fire hose cabinet just leave it at zero two and the third cell here is the outside hose stream allow GPM, which is for the fire hose rail. You know, we have fire hose cabinet inside, while we have the hose rail outside. So it's almost on the same basis. If you are using fire hose cabinet, you will definitely use 250 GPM, which is the standard. But if you are not using fire hose cabinet, you will have to also leave it as zero. So it's the automatic save that is popping up, sorry. So let us now proceed to our cell 4, which is the default pipe material. In fire sprinkler or hose cabinet installation, we have different kind of material. So the manufacturer have already specified here. So you just select the material type you'll be designing for or you'll be using for your installation and the software will automatically give a reference number to it so you, for this our project now i'm using cpvc soda 13.5 although some most pro people do use pvc or schedule 40 wet still so let's use cpvc here so it has automatically assigned reference number 10 to it so for cell 5 is our k factor and one known k factor to be our sprinkler constant so you just need to select the constant of the sprinkler head you are using and you know we are using all this small small orifice type so you just select sometimes the manufacturer do label them to their sprinkler head. but for this our project i'm using the standard so that's why i choose this standard so it's automatically assigned a k factor of 5.8 for cell 6 likewise cell 7 8 and 9 they are also for reference purpose they don't serve any function in our calculation so for cell 6 it is the sprinkler model so you can just write your sprinkler model here so we have the vikings tyco rasco victalic etc so let's assume we are using tyco as our sprinkler head model tyco sorry so for the model you can just give it tc let's assume tc 
100 and the sprinkler make is Tyco so for the temperature rating which is the temperature rating at which our sprinkler system will operate the norm is 160 degree Fahrenheit here is it the temperature rating is expressed in the degree Fahrenheit the default value is 160 so the norm is 160 just write 160 here so we now proceed to the sprinkler size which is the sprinkler head diameter I will assume you should just neglect it. The common diameter for standard sprinkler is average, so you can just leave it all right. One comma two one over two. So having gotten that, we now proceed to the labor rate, the other labor hours, and other material cost, which the three are all for installation estimation so you can just leave them you don't need to consider them except if you are also the beam manager or the project manager to proceed to the last cells here which is the primary type of discharge so what this implies is that your project you are designing for what's the major concern are you majorly designing for sprinkler system or an O system you know sometimes you might be combining sprinkler and O's and sometimes you might be doing them differently so you just select if you have the major design is sprinkler so you select sprinkler and the comment section in case you have any other comments you need to add to your project report so now we now proceed to the hazard description which you just need to specify your project hazard so let's assume we are designing for a large hazard you specify the minimum desired density and it will just pop up here for light hazard just select it here likewise you select the sprinkler system type so are you using a wet or dry system we majorly use wet system except in europe so wet system for the area of the sprinkler operation you need to determine the area of active suppressing area active suppressing area in your project so let's assume it's 100 square feet 100 square feet the active suppressing area not the area of the building place so after the maximum area per sprinkler which is a standard specified by nfp so you just click down the button here for light hazard it will automatically specify for you and after this the remaining cells focus majorly on the hydrant system in case your suppression system is connected to the hydrant system so you specify the hydrant test date which is the last date you tested your hydrant likewise the source of the information hydrant id the hydrant elevation so you specify the two likewise if your hydrant is also connected to the o system o system moreover you specify the static pressure of the system the residual pressure and likewise the test flow rate and for the last two it is the data and your project design that will give you the calculated demand pressure likewise the calculated demand flow rate and on a norm this one will be modified the moment you complete your project so that's all about the system data let's just save our project project data our project save so let's save it so Control S Tutorial Project So that's all about our Elite Software Project Data So I will close this File Open
sorry open open So and to access it back, you just come to our project here, general project data, and here is our general project data. So keep tuned as we explore through the elite pipe data in our subsequent video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.